Hello everyone, welcome to the preview of Pacific Drive. I just finished part of the tutorial fixing up my car. And right now I'm gonna have to look for the way to turn on the car, apparently. But I'm gonna look for parts to build myself an antenna so we can increase the radius as which we search for safe spaces or stable pockets. Because anywhere outside that isn't a stable location is dangerous for humans to be. And we're gonna have to go to these locations that I just well, clicked on. I didn't actually expect it to go to a loading screen. All right, seems like it just drives us towards the location, so I guess that's good. So we don't have to actually go there ourselves. Don't want to overwhelm that little brain of yours. You'll need a few things to rebuild the antenna at the garage. First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spark tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. The arc device is picking up on some plasma generators nearby. Your headset has a built-in scanner. Use it on the plasma generator and it'll figure out the tools you need. Sodium vapor lights. Oh, we can... Oh, we can take these? No, I can just see more information about them. That's a lot of information for some bloody lights. Jesus Christ, it keeps going. All right. Yeah, we are stuck in the exclusion zone. We got sucked in here. And we need to get the antenna working. Oh, like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. But we need to get the antenna going so we can find a safe way to get out of here. All right, to make the impact hammer that we need for the plasma, we're going to need... Some gears and some gas cylinders. Well, I found the gas cylinders. Yo, what the hell is all this? A transmuter. Out in the zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? And I'll be back at the helm. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole Sasquatch incident. Yes, I was hoping to go another decade without hearing your voice again. What did you finally talk Francis to death? Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. Where the hell are those gears at? Let's hope they're over here, though. What's this? Is this a test dummy? What's up, my man? It's an anomaly. Oh, Jesus Christ! That was a dumb idea. <laughs> Radiation hazard. Alright, let's not get close to that, then. A ton of food. Nice. No gears, though. Driver, I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. Well, I'll keep to the basics, I promise. They deserve to know what they're getting into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds, I'm counting. Okay, okay, okay. The remnants, in short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. This is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized as an old copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. It's not already on uh, good terms, but kind of sounds like it would have been important, to be honest. Oh, look at this. I imagine that if we go past there, it'll be unstable, right? Yeah, exiting stabilized area. Actually looks pretty cool, though, a wall like that. Oh, would you look at that? We can actually make gears ourselves. Well, in that case, let's head back to the car. Let's start crafting two of these. Craft ourselves the impact hammer. And then take out this. Alright, well. Not how really how I thought it was gonna go, but... If it works, it works, right? Do we have to smash more of them? I guess we need five in total. Alright, well there were two in this area. So I guess for the rest, we would have to go and move on. Yeah, I can already see a couple of them out here. 
Um, I might not want to have the card this damn close then. Go back, go back, back up, back up, back up. I'm sorry, car. Didn't think you would get hit by uh, that. Alright, let's hope we're not gonna get hit by that. Oh boy. Come on, smash! So it seems like they're powered by the plasma as well. So when we break it, that's when this is over. Although it doesn't seem to attack us. Uh, antenna on a hill, eh? I mean, there's a hill over here. But I don't think it means this hill in particular. Alright, well, let's head back to the car. Which is uh, that away, according to the little car indicator, which is a very helpful feature, I'll all admit. So let's see, if we just keep on going, this is where we have to be eventually. So I guess we'll just follow the road. Uh. What the fuck is that? I was just gonna check out... You know what? I'm backing up a bit. I don't know what the car will do, or what the thing will do to the car. So I'm just gonna leave the car on the road here. Where it isn't safe either. Hmm. Well, let's hope it's safe. It seems to go back and forth a bit, so that should be fine. Alright, time to leave. There isn't anything here. And there does seem to be a car over here, actually, as well. Oh my goodness, there is a lot of stuff in here. Crude bumper. Armored door? I clearly should be able to take this, right? Like, but we can't is the problem. Oh, we can finally have a rear bumper. Uh, do you guys see what I saw? Was that a truck that just faced through the ground? Alright, it's coming back out again. I'll just get the heck out of here. Anomalies are weird, dude. So from what I've seen in the trailers, these areas can be a lot more hostile than what they currently are, which I guess makes sense. It's still early game, They're trying to teach you about looting and everything. Trash in the forest? Unbearable. Arda Tomb. So Arda was the company that, or the government or whatever the heck at least, that placed down the entire wall. So I guess Tomb would make sense if you're stuck in here, yeah. Because there were people that were stuck in here, I'm pretty sure, from what I heard. Oh nice, there seems to be some gas in here. Let's actually fuel this baby up. Because who knows whenever we get the chance to do that again. Can you not with these? What the hell even is this? It's just the ground that gets pulled out. Ouch. Walked into a sign. Oh man. Alright, there's a limit on this, sadly. Oh man, and I parked my car too far away. Well, we'll check that out in a second. Big Dance, what do you got for us today? Some fabric. A lot of this seemed to have been looted. Dude, there's- oh my god. And that was terrifying. What's going on out here? Why are there so many guys around? What is that? Glitter bullet. Can I- can I grab this? Can I do anything here? Oh. What I just do? I didn't seem to take any health, right? All right. Well, don't know what that was exactly. Did it explode into these things, the thermo sap crystals, or is that just something? Jesus Christ! He wasn't there before, was he? Goddamn creepy bitches! Um. I feel like we have to get out of here. Getting some bad vibes from this area. Whatever we just destroyed, the anomaly clearly isn't happy about it. Alright, we should be nearing the antenna, according to the map anyway. So let's see, we have to take a right any time now. I'm guessing up here? Then dodge all of these mannequins that will explode on impact. And I'm guessing that's where we have to go, where the light shines. We have arrived on top of the hill. So we got the transmitter. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage. 
but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the arc device display. It maps all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the arc device to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. Right, well, I guess she is right about that. That doesn't seem to be anything we can do around here. So let's turn around, go back to the main road. And there seems to be a large pocket over there. May as well check that out, because that also would probably mean a lot of extra loot. I gotta admit, this uh, whole anomaly thing here got pretty damn creepy. <laughs> With all these mannequins everywhere. Like, the ones that were already there aren't that bad. It's just the ones that popped up after I destroyed whatever the hell that rock was. That is honestly pretty damn freaky. So around here, what were we even looking for again? Anchor points? They probably have a very specific look to them. Uh, let's see, so probably point us towards here. This looks kind of special. Those anchors may look like glowing balls of magic, but it's limb tech through and through. Don't be scared. Oh. oh no, I dropped it. Please come back. Come back. Come back. Oh boy. Oh boy. Things are happening out here. Let's just dump this thing in the car and let's be on with it. Alright good, so that means we are able to loot some more, which is exactly what I wanted to do. Because I saw this little house over here. Oh, it doesn't seem to be much in it, so I guess let's just head out of here. Let's check out this machine here. Alright, Anchor, you coming with me now. Oh boy. Alright, this one just sounds more scary than anything, to be honest. Let's see if we can dump this in the back of the car. We cannot, okay. Well, to be honest, this kind of makes sense in a way. Link Gateway. Oh boy. Uh, drive, yeah, drive, drive. See that glowing pillar into the sky? Drive into it. Yes, it looks like hot death, but it's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Yeah, I bloody hope so. That was actually a lot farther away than I thought it would be. Maybe I should have <laughs> driven there before opening it. Not sure if this is a safe way to go. It's not an easy way to drive, that's for damn sure, though. These aren't really off road tires. I imagine we are fine. Oh, drive into it, she said. That looks like such a bad idea. Alright, trust the crazy lady that wants to kill us. Here we go. Oh, we are back. Back at the garage, back home. Oh, well, well. You're alive. I'm certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Hmm. Did I not mention that you're the first human I've sent through that thing? I mean, they've been rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, take those parts you found into the back room. I'll let you use my fabrication station. For now. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place. Mess up my equipment and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. We clear? Damn. Right, I'll be. Jesus Christ. I'll have to use the impact hammer. I thought she was going to give us access to it. Open up. Let's see. So we need to have the scanning antenna, which we can fabricate. It seems like we don't actually need to have it in our inventory, but in the car is fine. Does that mean that Harry can't craft this, even though we have the supplies, eh? Well, it seems like at least as long as it's on this panel, the car, anything that's in the car can be used to craft and research. So I guess that is pretty good. That's exactly what I wanted. It's kind of weird that it doesn't work in the back of the car, even though you have your supplies right next to you. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? Antenna signals coming through loud and clear. Give it a moment to initialize. 
I think Oppie is a fucking wizard. What the hell did we just create? What did she make us create? Crew panel. Actually, I put the crew panel back too. Don't know what to do with that yet, but let's grab the handbrake. Uh, how do we install this? There we go. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. I was just gonna dump everything in here. I guess she is right. Cause look at the supplies we literally just got. It's so much. What's this? Oh, nice some metal scrap and a box. Whoa, that's trippy and also holy hell, that's yeah, lagging. What the hell just happened? I've hooked up the antenna to the route planner. Give it a look after you're done peeping. Uh, car maintenance? Like what the hell? All right, well, I don't know what the hell just happened. Why we got so much plastic? <laughs> kind of insane. What is this? Oh, hey, look at that. What is all this? This is the bumper we just got. Oh, we can take it out like that? Wait, so we dumped this on the floor. We hit the switch. It sucks everything up in this area. Wait, does that mean that if we... Oh, man, we have to individually do it, but... Let's see, so we have a bunch of scrub metal on the floor. Hold the lever. Oh, look at that. And then it's all stuck in... Oh, yeah, there's also our empty cargo trunk. Where's the scrap metal? There it is. Oh, sweet. So, all right. Let's just dump everything on the floor, then. <laughs> all right. Turn on the vacuum. Let's vacuum this baby up. Whoa. Oh, I did not like that. All right, there we go. Well, this is not the most optimal way, I don't think, of storing it. Seeing as it kind of goes over the screen here. Now, my other question is, if I dump it out here, so now it's on the floor there. Will it also grab that? It seems to have grabbed it. I wish I could see it. Let's try it out with a bit of a bigger object. So we got the summer tire there. To be honest, I don't think a bigger object per se is going to work. It seems to have disappeared, though. The main problem is just, how the hell do we scroll down, right? We cannot put things in here directly, though, so they have to be specifically dropped on the floor first. But the spare tire seems to be, um, even though it's in, like, the bar's full, it seems to be in a rough condition. We actually did just get another tire, right? We just sucked it up in here. I feel like I'm just deleting stuff, to be honest, when I click on all these items. Is there anything that is not worth a lot? Lead pallet? Oh, here's the summer tire I wanted. Oh, there's the lead pallet down there. Okay, and so whenever we click on it, it just gets dropped down into the list. So that's good to know. So we take this one off. Toss that off to the side. We put this one on. Did that fix it? No. Because this one also has a little X on it. This one doesn't. This one does not. And this one does not. I feel like we just need a whole entire new front tire here. These just aren't good enough. So we could just create a new one right here. Or is that just a recipe to make one? It seems to be just a recipe to make one. But we can craft one in here afterwards. And then we can put it on. There we go. All right, so that's how this is going to work. I think I'll be leaving it over here, though. We have had quite a bit of an adventure. In the next episode, we're going to fully pimp out the ride, fix it up to something that resembles a car. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everyone.